What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Out tonight without any sort of plan. Haven't been here for a minute, haven't fished at all this year. I don't know what the water clarity is like. I don't know what they're gonna be hitting. I was talking to Randills on the way over and I'm like, man, I don't have any sort of plan on what I'm gonna do. He's like, just go fish, go out, have fun, catch some fish. So that's what I'm doing. Stop talking, see if we can find some. All right, the water's pretty dirty. I think I'm gonna try throwing this little red and brown chatterbait that I've got. See if anything will scrunch on this. All right, well, it's been slow upon slow. I haven't had a bite here about 35 minutes. Uh, yeah, you, you could say fishing's a bit slow. I don't get why. Got cloud cover, got some wind. It should be eating, right? No, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know how to fish. I forgot. Oh, there we go. First one of the day. Oh, not a Brutus. Not a Brutus at all, but it came by way of the old Thunder Cricket. Good hooks out there. They got super sharp hooks on them. There we go. In typical Debo fashion, we're starting out the show with a dink. Thank you, sir. It's been almost an hour before I caught a fish. All right, can we catch any more? That's the question. There it is, running the old Thunder Cricket. That's in like a brown and red craw. Got the, uh, I think that's Rayburn Red. It's kind of a green pumpkin and red bottom. That's the Rage Menace as the trailer. We'll see, we'll see if we can find any more. Took me an hour to find one fish. And that fish was just a little Debo dinky fish. All right, this is what I was talking about over here. We got the windblown bank side. We got some rocks here. Composition's kind of changing a little bit. Let's just see. Some old dead reeds here. I'm sure there's some reeds still standing in the water as well. Any fish around these? Nada. Man, I wonder if I should change up color? How are they not eating that? How are they not eating the daggum thunder cricket? Well, let's try this again. I got one of those little game hogs here on a little Tokyo rig. Basically just throwing it around kind of like a jig here. Let's try this again. What that is that's a fish on the daggum tokyo rig <laughs> uh, the unlikely hero of the night huh the old tokyo rig well it's another debo dink but i ran the old thunder cricket through there i don't know how many times there we go another little debo dinky we appreciate all of them on my show man it has been a grind of a grind to get a bite the heck, he completely wrapped this around the rig. Is this, is this real? He wrapped it around the weight. Thing's all sorts of discombobulated. All right, 37 hours later, I got it untangled. All right, well, there it is. That's that little game hog in Tequila Sunrise, black and orange. Oh, look at that purple. I love the Tequila Sunrise on that Tokyo rig. A little three-out hook. All right, well, one fish on the Thunder Cricket. One on the old Tokyo rig, huh? There's one. All right, I can't believe it. Two tonight on the Tokyo rig. Unbelievable. Did not think this would be the uh, the savior of the night. I don't know if it's more the Tokyo Rig or that Game Hog. Love the looks of that thing. Look at that! A little Tokyo Rig action for old Debo. By golly, does catch fish. All right, well, getting better finally. Not a dink. That's a pound and a half for, for me. I'll take a bunch like that on this. Two. Two tonight on the Tokyo Rig. There we go. Bringing around some rocks and some wood. Get out of here. Well, it's been a slow grind of a night, but this, <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm saying it. This Tokyo rig, look, I put a couple little tiny, I think those are 
eighth to eighth ounce tungsten weights on there and i took the bottom of that and rounded it that was something i saw that jacob wheeler did i actually just watched a thing on instagram he was using one of those slider weights you all talked about but he uh, took this and rounded it i noticed that helps a ton so let's get this dude weedless again by golly caught some daggum fish on it There we go. Oh, switched over to the lipless and found one. Heck yes. Oh man, what a lull. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Good size fish on the night. Look at that dude. Chunked up. All right, well, there we go. Curse of the catch. As soon as I caught it and brought it in, my battery died. It seems to always happen. Catch one, your battery goes. All right, there we go. Well, a chunky little pound and a half run the night. I'll take a full night of those anytime on the lipless. Man, tonight's just been junk fishing. Off he goes. All right, back to the old thunder cricket. We'll give it another shot here. Look at that. Right on the little piece of wood. Just as I said, we'll give it another shot. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Solid fish to start the day here. Fell down. Yeah, look at that one. All right, perfect hook set. The old Thunder Cricket doing some work there. Solid pound and a halfer. Pound and three quarter maybe. All right, we'll take that dude. All right, first one of the day. Got it done by the tree. Get out of here, fish. Okay, okay. Decent start there. I said, all right, we'll give the, uh, the old Thunder Cricket another shot here. That's in that, I think they call it bruised green pumpkin or something like that but it's like a green pumpkin with some black and blue on the bottom i'm digging it that fish was digging it that's funny because i said let's give it a shot here there's a little bush or two that lays down here and i just kind of was bringing it parallel to all this and by golly he was laying there there's another branch oh piece of wood or something There we go. Oh, it feels like a little better one. Pulling like you wanted to be a little better. Yes. All right, there we go. Another decent little fish on the old Thunder Cricket. Got him. I dig it. Chunky little guy. Another pound and a half or no Brutuses yet, but I'll take those. Especially now, you're all welcome on my show. Thanks for appearing, sir. All right, well, there we go. Number two on the night on the Thunder Cricket. Suppose that's going to be the deal. Once we get down around this riprap again, I'm going to throw that uh, that Tokyo rig. See if anything's willing to chomp on it. I think I just scared something right there. Carp, maybe? I don't know. Look like something swirled. There we go. Right on that grass. Right after I popped it out of there. All right, another little grass bass. Ah. All right, well, little let's do to the night. Stop going crazy. All right, the old Thunder Cricket doing us some work there. All right, another little dude, over a pound, probably a pound and a quarter. We'll take you. You're another one for the night. Go. Okay, well, there's a few of them eating, throwing that old bruised green pumpkin, whatever color it is, that green pumpkin, black and blue. Thunder Cricket, Strike King Thunder Cricket there. Seems to be doing the deal. I got the uh, the Yamamoto Zacco on the back there. That is one of my favorite trailers for any sort of chattering, vibrating jig. And then just dip that a little bit there. You can see the tail has a little bit of chartreuse on it. Give it a little blingy, blingy specialness. Not what we're looking for. Ugh, those things are gross. Yuck. Log here, see if there's anything on this log. You know what I say, fine wood, pitch to wood. Bounce it a couple times, hope for a fish on it. There we go, right on that wood. I thought there might be one there. Oh, a little tiny dink. 
little dude we still appreciate him all right guy go all right fishing friends that'll do it for the night just got home you know two kind of eh, days caught some fish it was all about the thunder cricket i didn't get anything tonight on the tokyo rig i was kind of surprised but uh, i'm liking that more and more a couple little tweaks i made have made a difference so i'm going to keep working with that trying different baits on it and see what i think as far as the thunder cricket i like it it makes a good vibration it's consistent um, tried a few different trailers on it but you know pretty consistent with the way i throw the chatter bait so definitely going to be throwing that more but that's enough for me tonight subscribe fishing friend shout out goes to justin beard justin thank you for watching and thank you everybody else that continues to support me through these not so normal times i appreciate you all thanks for watching and until next time